Hi guys, this is a short video to show you how to put tracks on your Prime gear. I'm using the Prime 4, so um, but it's practically the same thing that, um, for any Prime gear that you use, engine Prime, driven gear I should say, that you use. Okay, so basically, basically it's switched on. What you need to do is make sure, if you've got it plugged in, this is the way if you have a drive installed onto your prime gear or you've got your usb sticks plugged into your prime gear what you need to do is put it into computer mode and you could do that by pressing this button here I'll just press yes and while it changes over you go into your computer and you wait for your drive to show up yeah or drive I say this is the best way to do it. always wait for the drive to show up first okay once it's showed up then you open up engine DJ I'm using 2.2 .2 engine DJ software and firmware on the prime 4 so on the left you've got your engine library now this is where you store and organize your tunes okay so basically how it works you can have your um, main library on a drive on your computer or any other external drive and then you export it yeah or sync it to the drive on your prime gear okay so right now I have my tracks all my tracks all my collection on a drive external drive which is in the corner there on, on in my engine library so what I do if I want to create a brand new fresh playlist to sync onto my engine or should I say onto my prime 4 I'll go to collection and add a playlist we'll just call it playlist for now okay so then what I want to do I want to get some tunes into this playlist so I'll go to select a few tunes here and then I'll drag it drag it here and there you go we've got three tracks here okay so what you do with these tracks you're not ready to go yet they're still on the computer so you select all your tracks first thing to do is analyze them so you just select all you can right click analyze tracks so this way engine knows what it knows all the information of the tracks like the BPM the pit the, the key the waveform, it's all ready, yeah? So these are all stored into the engine database now. So then if you want to, you can prepare your tracks by putting cue points. Simple way of putting the cue points, it's all set onto cue already. As you can see, you just press one for for first cue point, then you can put another cue point, just say here for example, press two, and it has two, two cue points. So you can move on to another one, We'll just put one cue point here. This is optional. I, I love my cue points. I can't live without cue points. So we can put another cue point there. And we can say put another cue point there. And you can also add loops in the same way. But I'm not going to go into that right now. So once that's done, it's not on the drive yet. So what you need to do, you go to Sync Manager. You select the playlist. Let's make this smaller that you created which is this one you select the drive up here and we're going to use prime usb 64 select the playlist then export to drive and you can see the progress bar going at the bottom here you got to wait for it so this is only three tracks so you can imagine if you've got thousands it's something you've got to leave and go do something else and come back to it. But what I recommend is not to do too many. If you've got like 20,000 tracks to do, don't do them all at once. Do like playlists at a time, depending on how big your playlist. Do it one at a time. Because if you try and do a whole collection in one go, there's a chance it might crash. So I recommend doing it a bit at a time. So now, if we go on our drives, you go on this one. You go to collection, then you see playlist, then it's here. 
okay as it's in computer mode still we can't use it yeah we can't use the prime the, the prime gear so what you're going to do we're going to come out of computer mode onto the prime so what we could do we can finish we can finish here let's finish here because you've got to be the thing is with this uh engine dj software it's quite sensitive if you plug out a usb stick or or drive wireless up and running it could corrupt the database this is why it's always recommended to back up as you go along always back up as you go along yeah because if it does that you can easily it's only a couple files that you need to just drag back into your corrupted database and you're back to normal but always back up so the best way to get out of here is to eject these drives from here in prime okay so eject this one and eject this one they're ejected you can close it now that's closed then you can go back to standalone mode but for some funny reason when i tried this earlier and i went i pressed this button to go back to standalone mode it does and when you go to load the tracks they just don't load so it must be a bug in the software so the best way to do is just switch it off and then press yes that's what you see you notice it said um make sure you eject your drives which we did in the prior so we switch it back on and we'll just wait for this to load up i'm going to skip the loading process as it could be no i'm not going to skip it actually but it's nearly loaded actually and you should see it come on here we go so now you can see your drives in here earlier on it didn't show you the sd card on the computer i don't know why but it didn't show up but i've got sd card plugged in here and you can see it on here so the drive that we put our tracks on was this one here prime 64 so you select that one and there you can see you've got playlist so you tap on playlist and there are your tracks you can change the view i like this view and all you need to do now slide it and you can see the track is loaded it's got its waveform and it's got its um cue points as well you can see the cue points here okay this one we put two cue points here but i didn't put no not in this one but anyway and that's one way to put your tracks on your prime drive okay or in your prime gear okay all right then if i hope this i'm just trying this out but you know a lot i know a lot of people struggle with it yeah with um because it is a, a new way like of doing things nowadays so i know a lot of people struggle with it they get into the prime ecosystem and they feel a bit lost but i hope this helps if it doesn't help then you can you can message me question me comment or anything i'll try my best to help but that's one way of doing it and there's another way i'm going to show you in another video I'm, in fact i'm going to show you in another video all right